Let's begin with a brief history of humanity. 200 million years ago, when the dinosaurs were still around, mammals developed a new cortex, a part of the brain that allows them to invent new behaviors. It's also the part that's responsible for language. And language, well, is the primary thing that distinguishes the human from the animal. It adds a whole new layer of memes that can evolve on top of the much slower biological genetic one. It also allows us to better organize in a society. We are not sure how language appeared exactly, but I quite like stone ape theory. Parallel to us, technology began to develop with the use of basic tools. First we were hunters and gatherers, then we settled down for the agricultural revolution by managing our own food, bringing upon the agricultural age. This allowed us to build and connect cities and give birth to civilization. As human culture developed with art, religion and philosophy, the 17th century natural philosopher Isaac Newton formulated his laws of motion, which lay as groundwork for the fundamental science of physics. Now, with our new mathematical understanding of reality, one of the most important inventions in history emerged. The steam engine. This invention gave rise to the first industrial revolution, enabling mass production, which was then followed by the advent of electricity and the second industrial revolution. These two revolutions passed us through the industrial age and into the information age, with digital technology becoming ingrained in every aspect of our life. This new digital layer, similar to the linguistic layer, can evolve more quickly, catalyzing the transition from the human to the transhuman era. Transhumanism is a futurist philosophical position that advocates for the transcendence of the human species through biotechnology and nanotechnology and is similar to posthumanism, which focuses on cybernetics. I think Nietzsche was a transhumanist, as he famously said, man is a rope, stretched between the beast and the superhuman. I mentioned that transhumanism is a futurist philosophy. Futurology is defined as the scientific study of the future using methods of probability. An important event for the transhuman future that many futurologists predict is something known as the technological singularity. This is the point at which the graph of the exponential growth of technology becomes vertical and gets outside of our ability to grasp. Many believe that this will come with the advent of general artificial superintelligence. Why is that important? Because to prevent human extinction from AI, what must happen is something known as machine-human symbiosis, which is the merging with AI. This is already happening with smartphones becoming a literal extension of ourselves, according to extended mind theory. Technologies are getting closer and closer to the human. Eventually, they're gonna go inside our bodies. Although for quite some time now we've been using prosthetic limbs and 3D printed organs, what I'm talking about is different. It's something that will enhance our intellectual prowess. I'm referring to BMIs or brain-machine interfaces. A BMI is an additional electronic layer that exists on top of your physical brain. The uses of this type of technology are first, the ability to cure things like spinal cord injuries or Alzheimer's disease. Second, it can allow direct control and communication with our external environment. For example, we ourselves may become a part of the Internet of Things, enabling us to control our smart homes with just our brain. Along with that, we might be able to communicate with other people without the need for verbal language. Third, BMIs are going to be used in the entertainment industry, like for playing video games and later for virtual and augmented reality. Actually, the uses of BMIs are countless, but this video is not strictly about that, so I want to move to the field of medicine or what might be the end of it. Unlike Neuralink, Facebook or Valve, which are working on their BMIs, companies like Google have been focusing on another transhumanist problem. Mortality. See, if we find a way to reprogram our bodies to combat aging and even reverse it, we might solve one of the biggest problems humanity faces. Death. There was a breakthrough study recently that involved a group of participants that were put inside hyperbaric oxygen chambers for a certain amount of time. The results of the study showed that the participants' blood cells reverse aged with an astonishing amount. The field of biology is becoming more and more about bioinformatics, which means that with our growing knowledge of genetic engineering and with computer science, immortality might be closer than we think. We can also totally scrap our bodies and replace them with new ones, like in the Netflix series Altered Carbon. Other technologies may be directly involved with consciousness. 
Consciousness as the frame through which we experience reality should come as no surprise that it's a frontier to tackle. One way to do that is through modifying our perception by designing artificial senses or by extending the scope of our existing ones, for example through lenses that perceive higher or lower frequency electromagnetic waves. Throughout history, technology has served us to extend our reach, and though it has its downsides, I think it can keep doing that in the future. But no matter if it's through super intelligence or super longevity, the term human might not be valid to describe ourselves anymore. And what then?